Here we are asked to find the derivative of x squared times 3 to the 4 cosine x power. It looks really nasty at first. Uh, we've got a couple different functions going on. We've got uh, something crazy in the exponent. Uh, we'll see it actually turns out kind of nicely. But the first thing we want to notice as we prepare to tackle this derivative is that we have two different functions going on here and they are being multiplied together, therefore we have the product rule. The second thing to notice is that this guy right here, the second function, is an exponential equation, an exponential function, where the base is not e, the base is 3, uh, so we'll have to deal with that. But first, product rule, so that means the derivative of this, so I'll just say y prime is going to equal derivative of the first function, 2x, easy power rule there, times the second function, 3 to the 4 cosine x. And then we add the second function times the derivative of the second function. Now I'm just going to write it um, in this notation without having taken the derivative because we see this derivative is going to take a little bit more work on this guy. We have here, yes, an exponential with a base of 3, but we also have the um, chain rule because we have up stuck upstairs another function of cosine x. First of all, what is the derivative of a function such as a to the x power? So here, if we remember derivative of our exponential, it is the natural log of a, so the natural log of whatever the base is, times a to the x power. But then what happens, we don't just have an x up there, we have a function. So maybe if I write it in sort of the chain rule formula, what if I have a to the u, where u is another uh, function? Then it becomes natural log of a, times a to the u, so again your base function that a to the u still pops up, but now you've got to multiply by du dx, the chain rule, right? you got to multiply it by the derivative of that inside function. Using that we will now tackle our derivative, so we have 2x times 3 to the 4 cosine x plus x squared times all right, so I've got to go with natural log a, natural log of 3 then, and that is times 3 to the 4 cosine x. And what is the derivative of 4 cosine x? Well, let's work that out off to the side real quick. Derivative of 4 cosine x is equal to 4 times negative sine x. Um, because we've got the derivative of cosine x being negative sine x. Therefore, this is all times a negative 4 sine x. And hey, we actually just found the derivative just like that. We can clean it up maybe a little bit. We have 2x times 3, 4 cosine x plus um, just to bring terms out, and in fact I'm going to change this to a minus because I'm going to bring out my negative 4 out front. Negative 4x squared natural log of 3 all times 3 to the 4 cosine x. And right there we have found the answer. Right here is our final derivative. Now one thing to notice, when you are doing the derivative of exponential equations, whatever your original exponential, so in this case our original exponential, talk about that 3 to the 4 cosine x, that is going to pop up in your final derivative. It pops up there just as it is. It's just there's going to be things added to it. There's going to be the natural log added to it. If there is a function up in the exponent, the derivative of that will also be up front. But whatever your original exponential is, it will appear in your final derivative. So be on the lookout for that.